I've got a couple conditions that are kind of incompatible. First one is I don't have much of a filter. I tend to say things and then think about what I just said and it doesn't always turn out well. The other condition which is actually diagnosed is a little bit of anxiety. So sometimes when I say things without a filter, it offends people. And then when I realize that, one way or another, I feel uh, pretty freaking terrible. In fact, sometimes I'll feel pretty terrible for a long time. And this morning I did one of those no filter things and I offended somebody like really badly. And I apologized a couple times and I felt terrible, but it's like, I don't know, seven hours later and it's still the predominant thing on my mind. And I don't, you know, I don't know what else I can do. I'm not, I'm not great at dealing with that anxiety and I feel like really, really bad for having offended that person. So how do you, how do you deal with it? Like I'm not, I'm really good at dealing with it. I used to take, you know, medication. I tried a couple times for anxiety. It's not super bad anxiety, just enough to like kind of you know, ruin your day sometimes, you know? And I know a lot of people have it much worse than me, but I'm trying to deal with it in a little bit better way today. I am out in nature right now doing something that I never do. I'm actually alone. You ever notice how if you live in an RV or if you work from home, especially if you work from home and your home is based kind of far off the beaten path that you don't get a whole lot of alone time. Like in our case, I've got, you know, Leela and Kaylin and all the animals and there's rarely a time when you can like have your thoughts to yourself. So I think it's really, really important to make that time. And I'm gonna try to do that more. I think it's, I think it's good for mental health. Have you ever noticed how life doesn't turn out exactly like you planned? I mean, obviously sometimes your days don't, but I heard something really profound yesterday. I was listening to a guy named Daryl Eves. He's a big YouTube coach guy. And so when he was a kid, his dad would, you know, have him involved in sports. They go to their games, but whoa, okay. Maybe this isn't the path. I'm gonna go back the other way. It's more like a stream than a path. I think I'm lost. And it's, it's almost sunset. Speaking of things not going as planned, this, this wasn't planned. But his dad intentionally didn't want to be that dad that got on your case for you didn't win the game. What'd you lose? It's like, instead it's like, well, what did you learn? And then for me, this morning I learned for the seven millionth time that I gotta think for at least a millisecond before I speak. And then you just do the best you can with what you got. So I'm trying to make the most out of my day. In fact, it's, it's kind of great. I'm, I'm pretty excited to be out here by myself because I don't get to do that much. This alone time is, is super valuable. And I've got this camera I just got. I'm getting to check out. I'm getting in a little more workout than the CrossFit I got in today. And I'm trying to live now. I mean, now, now is all we got. So. What are, you, what are you doing with your now? Are you, are you putting stuff off that you want to do because it's just not the right time? Well, I got news, man. For some things, it's never the right time. You just gotta, just gotta jump in and, and do it and, and take a risk. In fact, yesterday, I released a video on my other channel about a major life change. Something is pretty significant for for me and for our family and you know I'll link that video down below but the gist is speaking of risks it's almost sunset and it gets dark <laughs> really early here and it gets really dark here in the forest and I am really not sure which way is the way out this kind of looks like a path so I'm gonna keep following this is that's a mile loop I can do a mile I <laughs> hopefully I'll, I'll find my way out of here before it's dark if not I'm for a little a light that I can attach to my camera. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. The best times to shoot are the hour 
after sunrise and the hour before sunset. But the challenge with the hour before sunset thing is when you get towards the end of that, you run out of light and that makes it kind of hard to shoot. And it's not like there's gonna be a lot of ambient light after the sun goes down here in the forest. Another thing I'm terrible at is stopping and turning off the noise. When I'm driving alone, I put on a podcast or something to listen to. When I'm in bed, right before I fall asleep, I'm always watching something. I, when I'm even brushing my teeth, I'll put a video on to watch and I just never stop the noise. Sometimes you gotta stop the noise. And up here, another advantage is there's no, no cell service, which will be bad if a uh, mountain lion finds me, but I think I'm, I think I'm probably good. So here's another bridge, or is it the bridge I've crossed already? They all look kind of the same. Am I doing circles or am I actually making progress on this path? Sometimes you gotta just take the time to breathe. What are you not doing that you wish you could? Because my life is nothing like I ever imagined. And it's because we took some risks and stuff. Luckily I had a supportive wife that was willing to take a lot of those risks. We've done, we've done a bunch of risks over the course of our, our marriage. And you know, mostly it kind of works out. But right now I'm not sure which way to, okay. So that is a path over there. That looks like more of a path, so we're going this way. So what do you think? Am I gonna make it out of here before dark? Or am I gonna need to be rescued? Going back to that anxiety thing, one of the greatest pieces of wisdom I've heard in a long time was from my coach, Camille Rose. And she said that anxiety is worrying about the future, things that are probably not gonna happen, and guilt is worrying about the past, things that you can't change anymore. So why would you spend any time there? And she said that to me when I told her during a session that uh, my only two emotions are guilt and anxiety. So working on that. Really enjoying being out here in the fresh air. And I don't have too much anxiety about not making it back before dark because, you know, it's not that far out here. When I got here, some people said that the view from the top was really good, and I hope I didn't miss the top. <laughs> it looks like, oh, another, another wine, another choice. Do I go down or do I go up? The choice is obvious. Plus, there's more light out here. The trees kind of thinned out a bit. This looks more like a little path for water flowing down than a trail, so. This might be a mistake. I really do want to get to the top so I can sit down and have that like epic shot of me sitting alone with a huge vista, but dude, it looks, it looks really far away. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, guys. Okay, kind of good news, bad news. I made it to the top of kind of a summit, not the summit, but you know, kind of got a closing shot. The bad news is I've got to go down that way in the dark. Sorry to the person I offended this morning. I really am.